It was the year 2016 when I came home from school. I sat on the couch scrolling through Instagram. Then boom, I was looking at one of the best pen drawings I have ever seen in my life. As soon as I laid my eyes on it, I told myself that I need to use a ballpoint pen to draw. I started drawing and never looked back. Hopefully after this video, you will want to draw with a pen. This is why I switched from pencil to pen and why you should too. Switching to pen challenges me to become more precise and deliberate with every stroke. It made me a better artist by forcing me to think ahead and commit to my lines. Instead of drawing random lines, I now have to ask myself, is this mark going to add to my drawing or take away from it? The best lessons you can learn from drawing with a ballpoint pen are the failures. Failure will force you to experience where you went wrong, which will improve those technical skills. I don't know about you, but I was so tired of erasing. When I would draw with a pencil, I erased like 10 times every two minutes. Although it is possible to erase ink, it rarely happens. With pen, you build and build until you have the final result. Versus pencil, you build, erase, build, erase, and build until you have your final result. You don't want to be dependent on your tools anyway. All you really need is one. I'm sure we can all admit that ideally a realistic pen portrait is more impressive than a realistic pencil portrait. Pen art is not a popular medium for portrait drawing. Well, at least not as popular as pencil. I know this from first hand experience. The reactions to my pen drawings versus pencil drawings are 100 times greater. I mean, people literally gasp. When I was sharing my pencil drawing, I heard the occasional wow or whoa. <laughs> When I share my pen art, I hear, oh my God, no way you drew this. Or even, this is pen? I'm never drawing again after looking at this. Look, I'm not saying this to brag. Well, <laughs> maybe I am. I'm saying this to let you know how rare pen portraits are to the public eye, especially if it's good. More attention equals more success, ideally. As much as it can be a headache drawing with a ballpoint pen, it can also be just as fun. The more you draw with this tool, the more you discover. I tried out many different techniques, even techniques that necessarily don't exist or techniques I've never seen before. These techniques have definitely improved my artwork. By just experimenting, you can discover new ways to create a drawing. There's so many different ways. There's not one way. I do teach a couple of ways, which, you know, works for me. But for you, you might find something different. You might find something that I have never done before and it will work for you. The best thing you can do is experiment and don't be afraid to mess up because you're just in the beginning stages of drawing with pen. Explore the pen. Don't be precise and be a neat freak or be a perfectionist when drawing with a ballpoint pen. In other words, don't be like me. Drawing has helped me develop a distinctive style that's easily recognizable. It helped me carve out a niche and connect with an audience that appreciates the uniqueness of pen art. The way I decide to draw with a pen is different from the next person. There were times when I shared my pen drawings with a random person and they asked me if I drew this portrait of mine they've seen online. This is because my style is easily recognizable. I remember drawing this portrait of Nipsey Hussle with a ballpoint pen. I posted it on Instagram. It kind of blew up. When I started to network and talk to more artists, I would show my pen drawings and they would say, oh, this is the Nipsey drawing I've seen online. This is the one I've been looking at. Like, I can't believe you drew this. This was you. And this explains how pen is unique. You have so many different pencil artists out there who can draw. Most of them might have the same style or not, or it might be kind of hard to tell people apart. But I find with pen, it's easier to tell artists apart. To tell you the truth, you're not going to be super confident when you first start drawing with a pen. You have to build it over time. The more you draw with a pen, the more confident you become. Trust me when I say this, I can be in any art studio and ask someone to hand me that paintbrush or hand me that colored pencil or even the marker and I could draw with it. The thing with pen, we already covered that you cannot erase. Every mark adds to the drawing. This builds your muscle memory. This builds your confidence. I became so confident with drawing with a pen that I would spend 20 hours on a drawing. I would take a step back. I would look at it, tell myself, mm, you know what? I wanna do another drawing. And then I'll start another drawing. 
or there's times where I decide just to draw a portrait just for practice, you know, experiment with different tools, different materials. And sometimes it doesn't come out right and sometimes it does, but I'm not stressed about it. I'm not stressed about wasting my time because I know with every drawing, it builds my confidence, it builds my skills. Plus, the more I draw, the faster I get. I'm not concerned with any of it. Confidence is really a superpower. You might want to draw like this or better. I believe you can, but most importantly, you have to believe it first. It took me at least five years to get this good without any idea what I was doing and without any teachers to help me. You'll be able to improve your technical skills with a pen really fast if you had the knowledge. That is what my YouTube videos are for and also my ebook on how to draw with a ballpoint pen. The secrets to drawing with a ballpoint pen will give you everything you need from what type of pen to use to how to transition through shadows and highlights. If you want to save yourself many hours, days, months trying to figure out what techniques you should be using and how to use certain techniques, click the link in the description.